Hello creatives, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at glass morphism, a visual design style that utilizes different levels of translucency to create depth and contrast between background and foreground, mimicking a frosted glass. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future upload without any further delay let's get to class so when you go to your welcome screen you click on the plus sign the new doc to create a new document so you just choose your site your your you can choose any name for your file and um, choose a size for your job so we're going to be using a 1920 by 1080 pixel 1920 by 1080 pixels so that's going to be a landscape uh, rgb and hit ok so this is our screen all right so if you're using coral draw 2021 you know when you double click you wouldn't have that rectangle so just create a rectangle okay and um you create a rectangle we have this I'm filling it with white then I'll import so we're going to be using this picture so just click and drag to drop it okay like we said uh, morphism allow us to create uh, effects between uh, layers uh, between the foreground and the background so we're going to use this image uh, I'm just going to pick this uh, power clip this one yeah inside okay so power clip this and um I'll fit it to part okay um this is nice so the next thing we are going to do is to create a rectangle just create a rectangle filling it with wide background and with the shape to i just cut the edges Take off the outline. Uh, I can crank this down a little. Take off the outline, crank that down a little. So now you can see we have an image inside the power clip. So I need a copy of that image. Okay, so I can just go in, I like, or you hold your alt key, click on the image. You have the image below, you copy and come out here and paste so the same image so hold shift page down that brings it below then i'll back clip it into inside this okay so we can create copies of this because we need them let's remove that i just create a copy of this frame because we are going to need them say we are talking about different layer so our first layer is this one Let's see our second layer okay so now on the second layer i would uh, edit edit the power clip and go to effect blur gaussian blur and we are going to use um <coughs> Hmm. Yes, it is fine. Just click OK and finish. You can see the difference. Okay, you can as well. We can lock this. Uh, let me change the position. Okay, so you see how that works. So whichever place I take it to, I still have that in position. okay uh just have it this way so i can unlock this so the next thing we are going to do is to further create a duplicate of this of this uh, rectangle and take out the fill and give it, that, give it an outline and uh, this copy we are going to use to create a shadow for it 
that's another layer so this shadow is not going to be the usual shadow we are going to use also use uh, the blur the Gaussian blur okay if I click this okay and so with this now I can select it and select this main one uh, hold press the E button to align it Okay, now you can see it's still above, so we can use a control page down to take it one image below. Okay, so you can see how that's turned out. If I want to increase that shadow, I can carefully um, select it by the edge. Bring this down. You can carefully select this on the edge here or oh, i can still just adjust it so this is it. it's easier for me to select and uh, we can adjust the gaussian blur uh, just want to increase it a bit can as well change the color if you choose to Okay, but this is fine by me. I'll just select this and select this again, align it back. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to use this outline. Okay, I love to put the outline to be the last thing. So let's put our frosted glass. Let's put our frosted glass. Uh, Let's put our frosted glass. So I'll be using the gray color. I'll just bring it here. Before we align it, we are going to add up um, some effect on it. So let's go to layers, effects uh, menu, and um, texture, add the stone to give you that frosted effect so roughness 100 detail 100 okay we have um different there's ash fat so whatever this is stone uh, concrete so you can see how that turns out i'll make it 100 and this 100 see the texture so click ok all right, next thing you're going to do at this moment is to align it. So selecting this, select where we have the glass. So press the button E and C. Okay. Now I'm going to apply a transparency on it. Okay. Click this first one here, uniform transparency. So you can see how that turned out. And I'm going to change this to screen. So you see how that turned out. See. So you can as well reduce, further reduce this transparency. This is by 50%. So you can reduce it a bit. So let's do 85%. Why is this in that? Okay, so you see how that turned out, see the frosted effects on that. Okay, you can as well increase if you want to see it more. So whatever you want to do, okay. If you also want to change the color of the frosted glass, you can choose any color. Okay, but we are going to stay with the gray. We're going to stay with the gray. That makes it, or uh, even a white, see, white gives it that look of frostedness. Okay, so now um, let's stay with 85% transparency. 85% transparency is fine by me. So at this point, we are going to apply the outline. So you select this outline. Uh, can increase the thickness to say four. 
pixel then you hold shift so note that when you have two objects and you want to align them you can as well just click hold the node and move it you can see it just aligns fits in okay that this time we're going to apply transparency this way just chop off some of this wow so this is how to get the frosted glass effect if you are confused about anything or any of the process you can as well go back if you have any question drop it in the comment section below if you are meeting this video for the first time you have not subscribed subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos so this is my frosted glass effect okay you can as well edit this at any point they are not actually quite lossless uh, uh, if i go back so this is my frosted glass or this is the layer you say this is so let me get the text i have this already typed out so let me get it from here Okay, so like I said from the beginning that this is actually having, let me get this clear, having um, different layers, elements, mimicking this frosted glass effect on them, okay? So you can as well, if this uh, blur is too much, you can as well go in there to edit it. I did it in such a way that it's not lossless. When I say lossless, like you can actually edit it. So if I go to Gaussian Blur, if I want to reduce the amount of blur detail, so you say blurriness hides the detail. Okay, say five. Come back here, so you can see we have all of that. So all you just need to do, so we have the foreground and the background, so different. We have about how many layers here? One, the layer for the picture. Then we have the layer for the the foreground this is the foreground layer so if i just align all of this and this one so this is how to make a frosted glass effect in coral draw so if you have any question drop in the comment section below if you're new to this channel consider subscribing Give this video a thumbs up, share it so that others will learn from it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now.